Watch this! I must protect the wild. Time Master. Uh, how can we compete with somebody who has mastered time? It's impossible. We just can't. We have turned our curse into our strength. <sighs> Did not want to face this matchup again. I don't have uh I don't have naturalize or poison seed, so it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna try and save the coin for the UI, I think. Not even a Time Lord, I know. It might be a Time Master, but I'm a Rhyme Master. Uh, there's no evidence to support that. I'm almost certainly playing this next turn. There could be a giant, and that would make me sad. But if there is, we have like swipe spellstone after the uh, the ferocious howl. Trade is fine. Yeah, this has got to be a giant. Nope. Hey. Eh. It's good for next turn. I'm going to go ahead and hang out here. Uh, these minions are about as small as they're going to get, so they make my Spreading Plague better once I draw into them. Got a couple combo pieces going. And I've got an answer to a giant, which is pretty important in this matchup. Could swipe that, but um, again, it's not really that great into my Spreading Plague, so I'm just going to gain two mana crystals here. Um, I could also Spellstone it. Spellstone is good if I do want to play UI next turn, but I think I would rather go like Spreading Plague Coin Swipe. So I'm going to leave that up. I've got too many cards in hand to uh, to UI next turn. Normally I'm not terribly concerned about uh, like burning cards, but being a combo deck, I'm a little bit more leery of doing so. Weary. Leery. Teary. Uh, Wrath is a card. Does that change my play at all? Yeah, I think it does. Because I can go... I can use the coin now, or I can spell stone Wrath. How many cards will that leave me with? One, two, three, four, five. I would have to get rid of the coin anyway. So maybe just swipe here, coin swipe. No. I think just play the cards that uh, do something. Figure it out next turn. As I've read from Twitch chat, burning cards means that you lose the game. That's, yeah, that's what we're trying to avoid here. So I draw up to seven. That's still too many to UI, unless I draw, like, exactly Spellstone and I pitch away a spell, like, coin, or Spellstone coin UI. Not in the other order. That would be atrocious. I wonder. Hit there. There shouldn't be a, a way to set up a good Defile, and really Defile isn't going to be that great for him anyway, just because, like, he wants the board more than I do. Okay. I can UI that. Our opponent really doesn't like the cards that are in our hand right now. Okay. Uh, let's make some... Let's make some spooters. And then coin out a swipe to, uh, to empty our hand here for next turn. I'm going to trade this one in so that there's no one, or at least no easy one, and I am not going face. Because that would be a dumb. There's a reasonably good um, Hellfire, but Hellfire is half of the opponent's mana, and it gets this in range of UI, so it's just okay. 10 out of 10 dentists agree that uh, Spooters was the correct play there, so I find that reassuring. Even if there's a Defile, like, we still have the UI on that. Let's 
it's not really what we wanted to see, but I mean, we've got most of our combo here already, so let's uh, let's do some things. So you're saying the dentists are spider people, yeah? And that it, that does explain quite a lot. I actually got a dental appointment on Wednesday. This looks like a, a good hand. If I can find the innervate, we will be there. We also just have a trade into this um, guy, so unless there's a spell stone, I think we're doing okay. But we can also just go like Dark Arakoa into um, Disciple. That gives our Cthune plus five, he goes to 11, and that's getting spooky for our opponent already. You'll have to give our opponent a moment. Uh, he's traveling through time. Okay. So not a whoopsie. That was uh, that was intentional. Ouch. All right. I want to draw into the um, the innervate, right? And then play the Arakoa. We don't really need the Cthulhu to get that big. We do need to uh, to not die for at least the time being. Next turn, I have Spreading Plague and uh, Disciple. If I need that, yeah, that's uh, that's looking like a thing I want. I'm assuming he's taking that trade. Sure. So we just sequence it correctly. Yikes! Uh, we're getting we're getting into spooky territory here. I could also just like draw with the the branch impasse. But this soaks up uh, quite a bit of damage, right? So I think it's fine. This isn't the worst spot to be in. It's pretty uncomfortable considering we need we have two cards out of uh, nine to draw here. This is why we run two copies of um, Innervate for the draw consistency, but they both just kind of happen to be at the bottom of our deck right now. And sometimes that's how it happens. Wow. Okay. That is a big board. Uh, we did it. Now we... Gain as much armor as we possibly can. And uh, take as much damage off the board as we possibly can. Maximum burst is nine. All right, one dark bomb's gone. So it's uh, double hellfire dark bomb. So maximum burst is 9, with it's 31, we're at 40, so we just win. We play this card, and then that way it's uh, that way it's in play. And then we do need to go fast on the combo, because I don't want the opponent to concede. He is, after all, a time master. He might be able to, uh, do, to get the concede going quickly. I don't think there's any card that... Uh, we don't beat here, right? Aviana, Innervate, Coon. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're going to test the limits of this combo. Oh, it only took two. Feels amazing, man. 